We're going to head back over to meteorologist Kirk Greenfield live in the Weather Center with your full forecast. Kirk? Well, the heavens opened up and boy, did it rain. It's still coming down in buckets in some locations. Hopefully most of the football games were able to conclude, but not all of them got off scot-free. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite. Boy, look at that angry mess as it intensified just over the last hour and a half and really is pouring in Marietta up in Washington County, all the way to Monroe County, and then down crossing down I-77 to Jackson County. Uh, this is a long line and it's ahead of the cold front that's pushing in from the west. So when we take a look at the Highmark West Virginia Skycam, we're at 67 degrees, 93% relative humidity, winds out of the west northwest just three miles per hour, and the pressure 29.96 inches and falling. When we look at our current temperatures around the area, 79 in Charleston ahead of this situation, 67 for Parkersburg, 68 in Athens, 64 in Columbus. Then we drop down to the 50s as we get up towards Toledo. The breeze, well, single digits, calm in Athens, double digits in Columbus and Cleveland. So you can see that wind is a, a bit stronger behind the front where the 24 hour temperature change is shaded dark blue where the temperatures are much cooler. Now we're about three to six degrees warmer than we were last night at this same time. And you can see the intensity of some of these cells. I wouldn't be surprised. Not only are these some of these thunderstorms, I wouldn't be surprised if some have penny sized or dime sized hail in them as well. The risk is damaging winds, maybe 50 mile per hour winds as this moves to the east at about 30. It's it's all pinwheeling around a low pressure system to the north, and as that closes in, we're looking at the wind direction changing. Cooler, drier air coming down from Canada. As a result, as we get past midnight, the shower should come to an end. By the time we get to sunrise tomorrow, it looks like the clouds will be dissipating, and we'll be looking at sunshine for most all of Saturday for the Sternwheel Festival. That's going to be nice. We're going to be seeing cooler temperatures. We're going to see bright sunshine, less humidity, and even as we get into Sunday, more of the same sunshine and slightly warmer temperatures. The allergy alert says pollen levels in the medium category today expected to be washed down for tomorrow, but rebounding just as quickly on Sunday. Ragweed leads to the pack. And the humidity forecast says once that cold front passes, we're going to see very comfy conditions as we go through the weekend and most of next week as well. So our forecast looks like this. Showers and storms still likely 57 for the overnight low. That's all. Tomorrow we only warm up to about 69 with decreasing clouds. We're looking at sunshine for the most part, a cool day. Any precipitation will be confined to the early morning hours, generally around the midnight hour. As we get into Sunday, we're up to 71. We jump to 78 on Monday, then into the mid 80s and the top of the 80s again as quickly as Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So don't think that summer has gone away. It's just wearing fall colors.